Hey YouTube, what's up? It's me, Caitlin Danae, with an update, and I weighed in at, my lowest this week was 122.4, but today, to be honest, I'm 123.4, so that's okay. Um, I took a rest day yesterday, uh, only 30 minutes of cardio, so it was active rest, but I've been walking at least 10,000, almost 15,000 steps every day. Um, I've started my jogging back, and the Stairmaster is my newfound love. I love it. So I'll do 30 minutes on the Stairmaster here and there. Uh, still training people. Um, they're all seeing progress, and I'm really happy. So that's going good. Um, my eating, I've started to add back a few more carbs. So my meal plan, first meal of the day, I'll have half a cup of plain rolled oats, and I'll grind it up in my Nutribullet, and then I'll add in one egg white, and then I'll turn that into my pancake mixture. And then I'll make my protein pancake with some peanut butter chopped on for the topping. So that's immediately about 350 calories for breakfast. So it's always important to get full on your first meal of the day. So that's my breakfast along with my water. And the mid-morning, I'll have either a cup of coffee with a natural creamer, which ends up to be about 70 calories by the time I've mixed it all together. Or I'll have six egg whites with 17 grams of sugar-free ketchup. Then for lunch, I'll have half a cup of brown rice mixed with 85 grams of broccoli and 85 grams of corn with four ounces of chicken breast. And that's like, I call it my meal prep. I love it. Uh, I'll top it off with uh, powdered Parmesan cheese occasionally, but you don't want to go too high on the fat. Um, Mid-afternoon, same thing. I'll have six egg whites with 17 grams of ketchup, or I'll have my Cellucor s'mores protein with 30 uh, grams of almond milk. So that's, I'll mix that together and I'll add in water as well. Um, and then for dinner, same as lunch with the brown rice, broccoli, corn, and chicken breast. And then before bed, I'll have either my shake or egg whites again. And so far, that's done me pretty good energy-wise. Um, if I do get hungry, I'll have sugar-free jello. But that has been my diet. Um, the scale's kind of maintained. Hasn't lost too much more than two pounds, but... I am seeing definition in my abs, so starting to see that second row, I'm so happy. Uh, that, that's my ultimate goal is to get abs by the end of this. Got to get something out of it. Um, anyways, as far as training, I've been working a lot on, stop Mana. I've been working a lot on endurance and trying to get out there and increase my cardio level because all I've done throughout this past year is lift and I've compared some pictures. I've gotten so much stronger. Um, gained a little bit of muscle in my lats and my shoulders this past year. It's pretty obvious in the pictures. I'll post that down below. But, like, as far as fat loss, I haven't lost too much picture wise in comparison. Uh, a little bit on my arms and stomach, but for a year, not much. So, this is cutting year, y'all. I am really going to try to lose that last 15 pounds and get some more definition and increase my endurance because as a personal trainer I want to be able to keep up with my clients and go on runs and do some fun stuff this summer and I feel like in order to keep up and push them harder I have to push myself as well so holding myself accountable to that to help them see progress and uh, get ready for you know their lifestyle change and you know it's possible you guys you just got to stick with it and consistency is definitely key so anyways I'm about to go to my dental appointment to have a consultation with the surgeon to get all four wisdom teeth pulled out I'm gonna be in pain and probably living off protein shakes and jello for a while but that's okay so all right uh Happy Wednesday, hump day, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.